Hi everyone, I'm Terry, and this is the Yarn Joy Podcast, episode number 122. Welcome. Okay, so for my finished objects, uh, I finished the pencil pillow that I've been working on. Uh, this is the pattern called Chubby Stubby Pencil Pillow by Janine Eldred. And I will put links in the description box below of the patterns that I talk about. Okay, so um, I was really trying to hurry to get this finished so I can get it to my daughter-in-law. And so um, I got it finished. So here it is. <laughs> I thought it, I think it turned out really nice. Um, I'm very happy with it. Um, this does contain uh, fiber fill in the end part. And then right in this, from here on up, yeah, well, there's a little fiber fill on the very end, the top, but the majority of this is a neck roll pillow that I had to order. I ordered it on Joanne, well, yeah, I ordered it on Joanne.com, and it did uh, ship quickly. Um, it's a 16, no, 14, 14 by 6, I think, inch uh, neck pillow, and uh, I found it, well, I looked on Amazon, but it was more expensive there. I, then I looked on Joann's, and it was a good price. Can't remember what it was, but it was a better price. <laughs> anyway, and then, um, but like I said, this part right here is stuffed in fiber film. So anyway, I think it's going to be... Um, a nice size and I'm she, I think she's gonna use it for her lower back and oh I do thank you for your prayers and thoughts of, uh, towards my daughter-in-law she is feeling better she had to I think she's gonna do some physical therapy and have some shots or something but she's doing better with it so that's good okay so there's the pencil and of course now I I still have the uh, notebook book notebook paper blanket um, I haven't worked on that this week, so I won't be showing you. But anyway, that will be continuing a continuation of these projects for her classroom. <laughs> okay, so pencil pillow is done. Next is the Stash Buster Square number 18, and I've got that finished. Let me make sure I've got it right side up. I guess it doesn't matter. Let's see. Here's the front. <laughs> anyway, I've got it finished. Uh, it did turn out a little bit larger than my other ones but I think it'll be okay I think I'd be able to squeeze it in there <laughs> so anyway here it is uh, this and this is mandala a section of mandala uh, lion brand mandala in wood nymph I think is just a piece of it uh, and then this is a variegated blue baby yarn and that's just how the pooling turned out <laughs> so anyway finish object number two okay finish object number three four and five Okay, so I have decided to try my hand at doing Vlogtober, and so I hope that you are following me along uh, with those videos. Uh, but just in case you are not into watching Vlogtober videos, which is fine, um, I want to show you the projects that I'm doing over there. So I am following um, Laura of Happy Berry Crochet, uh, her video, her YouTube channel, and I am doing a little mini project each day following her tutorials. Okay, so my first one that I did was the baby turtle. Very tiny. I, I used a very tiny hook um, and very thin yarn because I was wanting to try to get it as small as possible. This is pieces of a mandala lime, uh, lime brand mandala cake. Yeah. This was out of purple. It's a purple I did the shawl for, and I can't remember what it was. I can't remember. Ma oh, Magic Moon, yeah. And then this green is, I don't know, is that a something? <laughs> One of my line brand mandala scraps, so anyway. And it was so tiny, it turned out so tiny that I ended up putting a uh, lobster clasp or lobster claw clasp and I'm going to use it as a zipper pull on a project bag that I'm going to be making uh, because it's just so tiny. So anyway, so that was the first one I did. And then on day two, I did the little baby snail <laughs> and this one turned out larger. So I did make a backpack buddy out of it. And so that is also one of Laura's patterns. And then the third one um, that I did, and I just filmed Vlogtober number three today, and so um, hopefully you'll watch, the ones that are watching that plus this episode, you'll watch that one first, or I don't know, you'll see it in both. So, <laughs> but anyway, I did this sun, and this is also another backpack buddy. 
okay? <laughs> okay, and then uh, the only other fin finished object, it was actually a finished object last week, but I did want to show you the another picture of the Tin Man that I had done because I did get his little red felt heart stitch on him. But like I said, I already gave it to the person I was giving it to, and he loved it, and I was very uh, pleased with that the he liked that I made it for him. Um, it was... I'll go ahead and say this because it, it makes it even more meaningful, but I made it for a friend of mine that had had just celebrated his 12th year, so 12 years since he had had a heart valve replacement surgery, and so um, he is doing well, and I wanted to make that for him. So that's where that went. <laughs> but here's a picture of the Tin Man with the little heart on his chest, if you haven't seen it. <laughs> So that's my finished objects. So now on to my works in progress. Okay, so my works in progress is I'm on to preemie hat number one for October. I do need to get these preemie hats done uh, earlier. I mean, you know, I have. I think I have like the week before, the week before th uh, Halloween. I think is when I need to have them done and delivered. And so I need to get on to them. So uh, to get my last three done. So I started the first one, and it is going to be. I've just got. A, I've got um, the beanies almost made. I've got a little. I've had a had to add I ran out of the brown well I have it I just need to start a new skein but this is a cafe latte I think uh, from Red Heart Super Saver and so I need to finish the ribbing I've got just a little more section there and then the beanie part will be done but what it's going to be is let me hold this up it's going to be a monkey <laughs> there's the muzzle this is a pattern by cream of the crop crochet.com and uh, it is their preemie monkey hat little baby monkey hat whatever <laughs> and so i need to make the ears and stitch the muzzle on because it's done and then um stitch the ears on and then his eyes and then he will be done so there'll be a finished object next week okay uh works in progress number two is benedict the bear okay so i've been working on this pattern benedict the bear uh by jess huff is one of her patterns and i he, he is finished i just need to sew him together all his pieces are finished and complete yeah <laughs> and so i've finished his head i want to go ahead and show you that isn't he cute i think he turned out super cute i'm very happy with him i think he's i think he's just so cute <laughs> Okay, and so like I said, I do have all his parts. I have it in this bag here. Um, and so I just need to sew his parts together. And then uh, he should be a finished object next week. Um, so anyway, there you go. <laughs> okay, and the works in progress number three is Marty the Moose. I did get started on him. And I have, the only thing I've done so far is I have done his um, antlers. You know, I've got the other one made. I've got those. I've got, um, here's the other one. Let me put them together here. See? <laughs> and then I've got the, uh, basically I have everything that called for this color yarn. Uh, this is, um, oh my goodness. It's a big twist yarn. Cream, I think it's called. I'm looking for the ball band. I don't think it's in here. Ugh. I think that's what it is. Anyway, uh, that's what I'm using. So I've done the parts that need this yarn. Uh, like this is going to be his uh, the feet, the ends of the feet, and then I will attach the the dark brown uh, up from these from there. Um, so I've got all of them: the back feet and well, all four <laughs> feet, and then the antlers done. So I'm just ready to attach the, like I said, the chocolate yarn and continue on to make his, his pieces. So still got animal pieces going along here. <laughs> okay, so that's my works in progress. Like I said, it didn't work on the notebook paper blanket. Uh, I need to get on back on to that, but I, I really wanted to get that pillow finished, and so, and I did, so I'm glad about that. Um, so acquisitions, uh, let's see, I'll see what, uh, the only acquisitions I, I can show you is I made a purchase just a few hours ago. I'm real excited about it. I think it's going to be uh, a nice, uh, nice piece or whatever to put in my craft room. So let me show you. 
Okay, so I went to Costco and uh, just browsing around. I had a doctor's appointment today, went to do that, and then I went to Costco to pick up a few things, and they had this on sale, and I thought it was a good price, and I thought that I would show you uh, to let you know about it. Okay, so I bought this. Let's see if I can pick it up. Still in the box. Ugh. But it's this organizer right here. It's like a shoe organizer. See? And that across the top there, there's four drawers. I don't know if you can see that. There's four drawers and then some slots. Well, I'm going to, of course, use it for yarn storage. <laughs> and um, so I picked that up because I thought it was, I thought it was a good price. It was like a regular thirty dollars, or you know, twenty nine ninety nine, and they had it on sale for nineteen ninety nine. And so I think it's going to be. Um, I think it's going to work out good, so uh, I'm sure we will be putting it together and uh, rearranging in the craft room again. Um, it, it's probably going to go over there where I have, sh I've shown you pictures of my whip wall before. Well, I think it's going to go right below it, um, up against that wall. I think, um, hmm, I think that's where it's going to go. I was thinking it was going to go down there, move some things around, but I think it's going to go over there. But I I'll let you see it once we get it in there and and let you know how what I think about it. But anyway, it's on sale at Costco if you have a Costco around your area or at least in my area it's on sale until like October the 13th or something. So anyway, just want to let you know about it. You, you might be able to find it on Costco online. I'm not sure, but I'll put a link to it. I'll find it and I'll put a link to it in the description box below. <laughs> okay, so I just that's my new acquisition I just bought. Um, and then on to upcoming. Uh, like I said, I am doing attempting to do <laughs> Vlogtober for this month, doing little mini projects like these little backpack buddies and whatnot, uh, all following Laura of Happy Berry Crochet's tutorials. And then I'm also doing some little trivia questions in there and then a Q&A section of uh, people have... Uh, left questions for me to answer and so just to chat <laughs> also and so um, if you like the vlogtobers videos uh, then come along and follow follow my videos and see if I make it through the month <laughs> um, and then upcoming also of course is stash buster square number 19 okay uh, now that I finished number 18 <laughs> and I have not done the Jada and Stitches the sailboat section of that calendar blanket yet I need to get on to that I thought I was gonna get it started and I didn't <laughs> so um, I'm gonna be getting started on that and hopefully have that done uh, in preparation of her next section thank you so much to my subscribers my subscriber count is still going up I'm a little over 6100 something uh, it's uh, it's just so awesome I, I just enjoy coming on here and visiting with you all and and chatting and I love the feedback that I get and interacting with you um, I really appreciate it it just it just uh, makes my week to be able to come come on here and visit with you <laughs> um, so if you haven't subscribed please do and follow me, follow along on all my mini projects that I work on 99.9% um, .9 crocheting um, knitting but once in a very blue moon <laughs> Uh, mainly I'm just gonna say it's crochet so uh, but I do try to show a whole bunch of different projects uh, different types of crochet uh, so come along and subscribe to my channel and uh, even and but also please go over and check out my facebook group which is just called yarn joy podcast uh and join that so that way i can see what you're working on and and we can uh, support and give each other feedback on our projects um so we have a great time over there <laughs> okay so now my super seven of the week this is seven podcasters that i subscribe to that i want to tell you about that you can go check their channels out and if you haven't if you don't know about them and you could subscribe to them as well so uh in no particular order let's get started with that okay so number one is michelle schleepier I think I said it right. I'm hoping I said it right. Uh, she is at 335 subscribers. So let's go over and help her out. She is a crocheter and she shows some great uh, 
projects and uh, she's just a great person and go over and help her by subscribing to her channel and um, welcoming her to the Yarny community. Now all of these that I'm mentioning are going to be people that are relatively new podcasters or YouTubers <laughs> that are making videos and uh, so go and check their channels out and help build their subscribers and, and, and welcome them to the Yarny community and um, uh, go say hello. <laughs> okay, so that was Michelle Schlieper. I hope I said it right. I'm sorry if I pronounced it wrong, <laughs> but go check her channel out. Okay. Number two is April's Crochet and More, and she is at 920 subscribers, guys. So go over and check her out and help her to get to her to get to the, her next goal of having a thousand subscribers. Um, so go check her out and subscribe. Okay, the next one is Bees, spelled B and then three E's. So B E E E Z zero one okay and she is got she is at 82 subscribers so go she is new and uh, she's got some great projects so go over and check her channel out and subscribe and welcome her to the Yarny community okay number four yeah is Mimi's Crafty Crojo and she is at 268 subscribers. So go over and check Mimi out and welcome her and um, see what she's working on and help her by subscribing and getting her numbers up. Okay, uh, the next one is number five, which is Blind Needle, and uh, she has got some real enjoyable videos. She does lots of tutorials and showing you just basic stitches and easy, good and quick easy patterns um, so go check her out she's uh, got 180 subscribers and so go go over and give her a boost to her subscriber number and uh, welcome her okay and number six is leave it to lefty now she is a fellow left hand crocheter like me <laughs> and she has got 174 subscribers so go check out her and um, subscribe and uh, see what she's working on okay and the last one of this week is number seven which is Linda just a crochet sister and she is at 589 subscribers so go over and check Linda out she Linda's a great great gal <laughs> um, that's my southernness coming out but she's a really nice person she's very supportive she likes she comments a lot on other her fellow YouTube um, channel people and uh, she's just very generous and and she's um, just great a great person go and check her out and subscribe to her channel and see what she's working on and um, you won't regret it she's great so please go and check these people out and welcome them to our yarny group and um, just like I said, check them out, and it's always fun to make new friends and see what people are working on. Okay, so that's my seven podcasters of the week, and that is my projects, my finished objects, my works in progress, <laughs> what's upcoming, what I bought. <laughs> um, so I guess that's it, guys. It's still hot here. Guys, it's fall, and it's hot, like in the 90s, but this weekend, or I think Monday, we are supposed to finally get... A little bit of cold weather like I think it's going to be in the 80s instead of the 90s <laughs> so oh, we're getting there we're getting there it, it'll eventually be fall around here <laughs> but anyway okay everybody have a great weekend and we will see you in the next video bye